Hello everyone, my name is Arun Kumar and I am your instructor for the module on setting up two-step or two-factor authentication. The learning objectives in this module are we will learn about the importance of a two-step verification or a two-factor authentication. We will also learn to set up two-step verification for your own Google account. We will also see how to set up application specific password. We will see how you can access your account if your phone is lost or damaged. So every day there are tens of thousands of personal accounts that are hacked. Personal information is compromised. Passwords are cracked and lives are put in jeopardy. If you ever use one password for multiple accounts, you are exponentially increasing your vulnerability to being hacked. So why would people suggest two-step verification system? So when you give a password, you are authenticating with the website. When you give your username, you are identifying yourself with the website. It may so happen that the method in which you are giving your password can be hacked. So we need to cater to a second factor, second media, wherein you supply and additional information to complete the process of authentication. So the process of authentication will have two steps. The first step is the password and the second step will be a special code given to you through a different medium. Have you ever received OTP for your transaction? Maybe for your e-commerce transaction, your online banking transfer or your social media login. So when it sends you an OTP through SMS, internet becomes one medium and the SMS is the second medium through which the second factor of verification comes to you. So to pinpoint you and hack you individually, the hacker has to compromise both the mediums of the verification mechanism. So let us see what is a two-step verification system. In a two-step verification system, anytime an unknown device is used to sign into your Google account, the user has to provide a verification code in addition to the password. So it's not enough for hackers to just get your password and get your access to the account. They will also need physical control of your phone or computer to access your account. Let us see the steps by which you can set up your two-step verification and advise others to set up their two-step verification process for a Gmail account. Essentially, your Google account for all the services connected with Google. So the first thing is you sign into your Gmail account, click on a thumbnail of your avatar on the right side of the top menu bar, click on account to update your settings. After you click on this account settings, you will land on your account settings page. You now have to scroll down until you find a blue bar that says signing in. In the two-step verification section, you'll see if you already have two-step verification turned on, it will say on, else if it says off, now we're going to set it up. When you click edit, you'll see a page that briefly walks through the steps of setting up two-step verification. See the image? the blank place where you have to enter your phone before you enter your phone also select the country and enter your phone number you can also select whether you'd like to receive a text message or a google voice call with the verification code when you select that press submit and then wait for your code to arrive your phone when you receive the message on your phone see the verification code enter in the verify your phone page and press verify. After you verify the page, you move on to the third step where you want to tell Google that I trust this device, I recognize this device, press OK and you have just set up two step verification for your Google account. Now that we have understood how to set up a two factor authentication, having your primary mobile number suppose you want to log in and now 
you don't have access to your primary mobile number what will you do then google provides us with backup codes let us now see how backup codes can be used when you don't have your primary mobile number phone with you access the gmail account so if you don't have a verification code every 30 days and one day the 30 day period gets over and your primary phone number is not with you it makes it difficult to access your gmail account right no in fact google gives you backup codes which you can keep with you in your wallet and these codes can be used when you don't have access to your primary phone and it can allow you to enter into your gmail account for that particular duration where you don't have access to your primary phone go to your two-step verification settings page under how to receive codes just click on the show backup codes link it will show you backup codes on the web page you can either save this page or the other thing that you can do is you can print this codes and keep it in your wallet or a place where you can have access to quickly when you don't have access to your phone do you ever use the same password for multiple websites do you ever sign into Google Mail from public or shared computer such actions weaken your password and make it easier to steal Google now offers two-step verification an optional security feature that helps protect your account even if your password is stolen or cracked. This new feature helps improve security because signing in requires two things, something you know, your password, and something you have, your phone. It's much like what you might see on your banking website. With two-step verification, you'll get a short numeric code, known as a verification code, on your phone. You'll then enter this in addition to your username and password when you sign in. Let's take a look at how you sign in with two-step verification. After you sign in with your username and password, Google will ask you for a verification code. If you chose to receive a text or voice message when you set up two-step verification, Google will then send it to you on your phone. If you're an Android, Blackberry, or iPhone user, you can also choose to generate a code on your phone using the Google Authenticator app. Enter the code from your phone. If you trust this computer, you can check this box and you won't be asked for another verification code for 30 days. To set up two-step verification, sign into your Google account and go to your account settings page. Then, click Using Two-Step Verification. On the next screen, click Set Up Two-Step Verification. Follow the directions on your screen to choose how to receive two-step verification codes. You can receive your verification code in an SMS text message, in a voice call to your landline or mobile phone, or by generating a code using the free Google Authenticator app on your Android, Blackberry, iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. But what if your phone is unavailable, lost, or stolen? Next, you'll add two backup options for receiving verification codes. Write down or print your backup verification codes. You can use these in case your phone is not available or if you are traveling. Keep them in a safe and accessible place. You also need to add a backup phone that you can use if you lose access to your primary phone. This can be a work or home phone or the phone of someone you trust, like a friend or family member. Two-step verification protects your Google account whenever you sign in from a web browser. However, devices and applications, like smartphones, the Picasa desktop application, and Microsoft Outlook, can't ask you for verification codes, only your username and password. In order to help keep these applications safe, you need to use a special password, called an application-specific password, instead of your regular account password. Application-specific passwords are generated by Google upon your request, and you do not need to remember them, since you should only need to enter them once. To illustrate, let's set up the Mail app on an iPhone using an application-specific password. First, you need to create an application-specific password. Go to your Account Settings page and click Authorizing Applications and Sites. Enter the name of the application this password is for, in this case, Gmail on my iPhone. Then, click Generate. Enter the application-specific password on your iPhone, and you're done. We know application-specific passwords are long and hard to remember. That's why you don't have to. You should only need to enter these passwords once per application or device, and you can always revoke and generate a new password if needed. Thanks for trying two-step verification, and kudos to you for taking extra steps to protect your account. What happens if you lose your phone, and it was a two-step verification which was turned on? 
how can you access your gmail account so you can follow the following steps first of all the number one step that you have to do is revoke your current application specific password if you have a smartphone with apps linked to your google account they will automatically be signed out when you get a new phone you can generate new application specific passwords like we generated in the previous slides you can go to them and revise the process and enter those application specific passwords to the new devices step 2 change your gmail password even if someone else has your verification code they can't get into your gmail account without your new password while it's unlikely that the person who has your phone also has cracked your gmail password you can never be too sure so you must first change your google passwords if you are logged in to your google account from any web browser on your mobile device you will now also automatically be signed out the third step is you should add a backup phone number if you have a second mobile device go to your two step verification settings page and click add a phone number in the backup phone section after you do this even if you don't have a backup phone use your list of printable backup codes to access your account like we explained it in previous slides you can go to your two step verification settings page and show backup codes and then you can keep it in a safe place with you and use those codes to access your gmail account if you have lost your phone if you get phone change your number now that you don't have the previous number you change your new number be sure to revoke the access to your previous number on the two step verification page so with this we have learned how to set up two step verification process on google accounts we also found out the importance of having a two step verification we saw how you can generate backup codes when you don't have access to your phone and still want to have access to your gmail account we also learned about having application specific passwords on smartphone because they don't ask you for a verification code we also saw how you can still access your gmail account if you have lost or damaged your phone we also learned if you want to have strangers away from accessing your google account you can go to your verification settings page and revoke access from all the devices and apps that you have granted access to your google account with this we come to the end of the module happy browsing and please enable your two factor authentication thank you